Today I'll be teaching you how to put an order on hold. So for example, let's just say the customer has called into your store and they would like to take a look at the item before they make a decision. So they're planning to visit your store, take a look and then make a decision whether or not they're going to buy it or not from there. However, at the moment you would like to hold the inventory for them so that uh, you make sure that you don't oversell it. So that would be important for you to create the cart and put it into the system and put it on hold in terms of inventory so that they can take a look before you put that inventory back into your account. Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to put an order on hold. So let's say for example your customer is calling in and they would like to take a look at that item before they make a decision to purchase it or not. This process will allow you to take that inventory out of your inventory accounts so that the customer can take a look and that's that customer will be entitled to that inventory before they make a decision and if they decide not to take it then you can put it back into your inventory account. So from here I will add a customer to the cart first. Oops. So I'll add a, an existing customer in my system and then I'll go ahead and add the product to the cart. So let's just say this mat. So we will be creating the cart. Again this is to take the inventory out of your account so you don't oversell. And basically you're you're entitling that inventory or that product to your customer until they make a decision not to take it. So from here we will check out but there is a major difference from your regular process for normal orders. Instead of selecting a payment option you will go ahead and mark as unpaid. So this will have you confirm that you've collected zero dollars out of the total and the amount can be paid later on. So we will go ahead and mark it as unpaid. This will complete the order, although you probably won't need to print out the receipt options for now. You can add an order note if you'd like to. And I can go ahead and hit done. Now when the customer comes in to take a look at that order, you can search for that customer name, search for the order number, or you can go into home and go into orders and find that order that you had just uh, processed with no payment. And when we take a look at that order, you'll be presented with the option to collect the remaining amount of payment. So this would be your option if you were actually selling the item. So they've come in, they've taken a look at the mat, and they have decided that they would like to take it. You'll go ahead and find the order, collect payment for it, and it will give you those familiar options of cash, card, whatever you have enabled, and you'll be able to complete the order as normal. Now in the case that they don't want to take it, then we will go ahead and use the option of return. And you will be able to see all of the regular totals and amounts and everything like that. However, because we haven't actually taken a payment on it, we can go ahead and refund zero dollars. So there's no cash or tender actually being traded. If we were to click refund, this would just go ahead and return the inventory back into the system so that you can sell it on uh, to another customer and your, your stores would just basically see that inventory go back into the inventory levels.